I'd now like to ask Dr. Anika Sisto of the class of 2020 and Dr. Erica Pimentel of the class of 2021 to give their valedictory addresses. President and Vice Chancellor Carr, distinguished guests and participants, families, friends, and most, most importantly, fellow graduates. I'm pleased to address you today on behalf of the graduate and students of 2020. Bonsoir à tous. Comme ça fait du bien passer un moment humain en personne. I want to acknowledge how special this occasion is two years after completing a significant chapter in our lives. It makes for an albeit unusual ceremony, but one that can be reflected upon with some maturity and perspective. So congratulations on your academic success, but most importantly, congratulations for following through with it afterwards in whatever capacity that may be. Accomplishments like the ones we're celebrating today are rarely achieved on their own. So I'd like to take a moment to thank those who have helped us along the way. Ces gens méritent un grand et sincère merci. To the GMSB administration and staff, thank you for your guidance, support, understanding and nimbleness during an unprecedented period of time. To the JMSB faculty, thank you for your support and mentorship, your kindness, your ability to pivot, and your care in our education. To our parents, families, and close ones, be they biological or chosen, thank you for helping us achieve our goals and for believing that we could succeed. I've spent considerable time reflecting on what I would have said to you two years ago had I given this address in 2020. Granted, there are some stark differences as the reality we share today is quite different from the world pre-2020. I opt to focus, however, on the commonalities and offer you thoughts on the two that I believe are more, most significant in times like these. The stories we create for ourselves and the role adaptability plays in the, along the way. Let's start with stories. What did we expect when we first thought about graduating in 2020? These thoughts likely preceded any notion of a global pandemic and the required adjustments that would come as the world around us shifted. What did we collectively experience? Though we shared a unified moment of intense societal demands, we each have our own personal stories to tell. These stories inform who we are, who we will become, and how we will grow as individuals. Let's acknowledge them. Let's embrace them. Let's recognize that we have agency to change them. Let's use them to inform the, the path we choose to follow. The initial stories that we told ourselves in early 2020 may no longer hold true, or at least not to the same extent as we'd hoped or expected. And that story, too, is quite all right. For we've demonstrated that we're a resilient bunch, aren't we? Which brings me to adaptability. In 2020, I would have told you that we're smart and hardworking. We can achieve anything that we set ourselves out to do. JMSB taught us that. All it takes is a solid plan and the effort to see it through. While that still holds true today, I offer you maybe a more nuanced view, one that embraces uncertainty rather than resists it, that accepts that earlier plans may not pan out as we'd hoped, but that gives us the confidence that we are indeed equipped to meet the moment. We have the foundation we need to move forward with purpose and thoughtfulness as we continue to make our mark in this world. With that said, a few final thoughts for you to consider. First, in times of intense change, there's something to be learned in the discomfort. Second, that by being comfortable in the discomfort, we may unlock new ways of doing and new ways of seeing. Third, that we should revisit our stories 
allowing them to live and breathe the change that is around us. And fourth, that the ebbs and flow of life, be they our singular lives or the collective life that we share, speak to a need for continuous adaptability, of reflection, and of change. So let's be kind to ourselves and those around us as we navigate what that change means and how it's shaped in our shared world. Les finissants, je vous souhaite bon courage, bon succès, et surtout, bonne découverte. Merci. Thank you.